Hi everyone. Sorry it's been so long since we put up a video, but I am here today and I'm going to do kind of like, it's supposed to be August favorites, but it's just been so long since we've done any videos at all. So it's pretty much going to be a little bit of July, a little bit of August. Um, all the products kind of just blend in together, so I'm not really sure from which month, you know, they were really my favorites. So it's just going to be a little bit, this isn't going to be a long video. It's just going to kind of try and get back into the groove of things and show you a few things that I liked. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with beauty. I have a little bit of beauty, favorites like makeup, um, body, and just some like really random ones. So the first one I'm going to jump in with is, let's just start with makeup. So um, MAC, obviously I love MAC. And this is a MAC blush in Melba, and it's a matte finish. And it's just this beautiful shade. I will do close-ups of these guys. I'm sure you can see it right now. But it's just a really beautiful summer color. And I think it's also a great transitional color into fall. Um, it's a little bit peachy, but it's still warm enough to wear in the fall time. I know I will definitely be wearing this in fall. So MAC Melba. The next one is another MAC product, and it's going to be the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. I have very oily skin, so I went in and I asked the lady, I was like, I need something that's really going to give like a good base for my makeup that is going to help hide my pores, because if you have oily, oily skin, your pores are going to be a little bit more on the larger side. Um, and this guy is absolutely amazing. It goes on tacky, but I like that tacky feeling, and then you just let it dry. A little bit goes a long way um, when I first started using this product. I wasn't sure if I really liked it because I was um, using my beauty blender or my um, Sigma brush to really you know, try and buff it in. But if you don't blend this in all the way, it kind of leaves like white marks. And then you kind of have to like scratch them off. It's, it's really weird. It kind of like gets crusty. So you really just got to pat it into the skin evenly and just focus on the areas that you're oily. You don't need this all over your face. But I used this when I went to Boston back in July. So I guess this is kind of like a July-August favorite. And um, I mean, it wasn't, it was a lot cooler in Boston than it was in, you know, Philadelphia. There was no humidity, it was just, just warm weather. But um, in the sun, I was still getting super oily, and this was just controlling it. This just kept my face nice and matte, and it looked beautiful. The next um, beauty favorite is going to be a Maybelline product, and I love Maybelline. It's just one of my favorites. Um, lines in the drugstore. It's affordable, and the products are absolutely amazing. So this is the Maybelline Big Eyes, the Falsies Big Eyes, which is this guy here. So it's a two-sided mascara, and the purple side is for your upper lashes, just right here. And it just makes my eyelashes full, long, and beautiful. I have long eyelashes to begin with in a lot of them, so this just makes them just like bam. And your bottom one is going to be for your lower lashes, which I think is amazing because if you're trying to use the fat end of this down here, it just doesn't... It just doesn't do the same, and this really gets into the corners, so I'll just apply it down here, and then when I'm done with the top lashes, I go in into like the little corners, since this has like a really tiny end, and I can apply the mascara in there, which will really help open the eye. Alright, so now I'm going to jump into Lush products, so I've been really loving Lush this summer. Um, I mean, I've always used their bath bombs, and you know, a lot of like their, just their bath bombs. This is I Love Juicy Shampoo, which is this guy here. It's almost gone. I um, really enjoyed it in the beginning. Um, I just don't really like the smell of it, but it really cleanses the hair. Like if you have an oily scalp or um, if you work out a lot and um, when, when you work out, your scalp is producing a lot of oils, you're sweating. Um, this really helps really gets down there and cleans all that build up. And I don't wash my hair every day, I try not to, because if you wash every day, you're gonna strip your natural oils. And if you strip your natural oils, you are going to have a more oily scalp, if that makes any sense. But the I Love Juicy Shampoo has mango, papaya, kiwi, and pineapple shampoo to blast through grease and make oily hair soft and clean once more. 
as well and it really does do that like it is amazing it really makes the hair feel super clean super shiny i love it i don't know if i will repurchase because i just i just don't like the aroma of it and i don't know maybe I take it back it's kind of growing on me it's really good at cleaning that hair next lush product is going to be dirty spring wash shower gel and this I love. I'm going to repurchase this. I'm going to get it in a larger size. Mm, it just smells so minty and refreshing and oh, I just love it. It's great for summertime and I think it's also going to be great for wintertime um, if you kind of want like a little bit of a pick-me-up. So it says, shower gel, don't be dirty. Get fresh with this tingy and extremely minty shower gel. It's like a dip in the mountain spring with spearmint, menthol, to make your skin feel cool in a hot shower. I like how they have cute little like blurbs about their products, like that's just adorable. And if you want a clean body, you gotta get this guy. We all want a clean body. That's weird, I'm getting weird. All right, <laughs> the next one and the last one from Lush is going to be the Charity Pot Hand and Body Lotion. I got the mini guy and I only have a little bit left if you can see but this guy it comes with a whole bunch of different pictures and I got the one with a little birdie on it can you see can you see and I'm not really sure what the ingredients are but um, it really warms up the skin um, and warms up on the wait what am I trying to say <laughs> when it's on your skin it has that kind of just warm kind of aroma to it and it's sweet and it's just it's just amazing super super moisturizing um, and I'm always trying different body butters different body creams lotions because I just get super dry and now that winter's coming fall's coming which I'm so excited oh, the fall pumpkin Ooh. so charity pot from lush and the this is a small size and then I think it comes in a tub that is like that big and I was like I need that baby Next products are going to be hair and one for the body. I got this guy. It's a um, Death Valley Dry Shampoo from R and Company, which is this guy here. Best dry shampoo ever. This guy just goes on clear. It's completely empty. Maybe not. I just wasted that. It's probably like the last pump. It goes on clear, um, and it just it sucks up that oil and it makes your hair just feel fresh, it looks fresh. I went like, it sounds really gross, four days about washing my hair. I wash my body, I wash myself, but I just don't need to wash my hair all the time because I have the dry shampoo and like I said, I don't want to strip the natural oils in my hair. And this guy, it smells so good. I wonder if it has like a little saying. Death Valley is the quickest way to get your volume and body into your hair. Give your hair a shot of Death Valley whenever you want and it will, it will, huh, I can't read, it will liven right up. Death Valley, oh no that's in a different language. I can't read that, I was going to try and read, read it but that wouldn't go down too well. I want to invest in the larger size because now that I'm out of it, I'm like what am I going to do with my hair, like it's just going to be a greasy mess, I'm going to go to work with greasy hair. And that can't happen. And then next one, um, I'm pretty sure all of you guys already know about this product. My Nana Judy actually uses this um, and she loves it. And I was having, my legs are super sensitive. So when I shave over and over and over again, they get super irritated. And it's not even like razor burn. It's not razor burn. It's just, I don't even know what it is. I'm just super sensitive and it's, it's a total mess. So I was having problems. So I got the Airbrush Legs from the Sally Hansen line, and it's water resistant and medium glow. That's the shade I got, medium glow. Leg makeup. So you just mist this on. Um, what I like to do is put it on my hand and then rub it all over my legs to really make sure I get it in there because you don't want it to streak. And it dries completely normal, adds a little bit of a shimmer to your legs, which is really nice. And it just gives your legs that flawless look, like you can't even see the hair follicles or you know, anything like that. Bumps are smoothed out. Like, it's just amazing. Like, I just, 
I love this product. It is a lifesaver. So if you're like me and you have super sensitive legs and you don't always have time to wax and you're trying to shave but it's kind of just leaving your legs a little bit irritated, this is amazing. A little bit goes a long way. Please do not load this up on your legs because then it will look like you have cakey legs and you do not want cakey legs. So, Airbrush Legs, Sally Hansen, Walgreens, CVS, Target, Rite Aid, any drugstore. Getting into the last few products, which I'm excited because these ones are my favorite. So the first one is going to be, I got this in my FabFit thumb bag, and this is the Everyday Wireless Speaker, this guy here. I just wanted to show you the box, I do have it out of the box, but it's Bluetooth. Um, so you turn on your Bluetooth, this guy here, so I'm going to turn it on, it's really loud. Bluetooth on. See, super loud. And then you have to go onto your phone and pairing successful. I guess my Bluetooth was already on. And then you can just play play some music. And I love to use Spotify, so I'm gonna go into my Spotify and show you what I was last listening to. I was listening to <coughs> Stockholm. I don't know if you can hear it. And you just control the volume on your phone. So I like to hook this up in the bathroom. This is a good song though. Love it. So it's called Stockholm by Connor Youngblood. But we're gonna turn that off now. And then you just turn it off. Oh you're good. It's, this is just so convenient. So my car is like, it's a Honda Civic 2005. It's old. I can't hook up my phone to my car. So I sometimes I just hook like this little speaker up and that's how I listen to my music. Which is fine. No shame. You know, we can't all buy a new car. So um, if you don't know about the FabFitFun box, you should definitely get it. And this was, when did this one? I got this in August but I think it came out maybe in like June or July. And if you go on and you subscribe and you sign up for the FabFitFun, you can still go back and purchase this little speaker with your membership discount. Last one is going to be a candle and I love candles. So, and I usually go to Marshalls for my candles because they're just so cheap. You can always find what you're looking for, the aromas you're looking for, and it's so affordable. So it's this guy here and it's Musk and it's paper white and musk number two rich with fragrance and i'm not really sure the name of this guy dw home is that the name of the company i'm guessing that is can you see because i can see and it was only 7.99 eight doll hairs totally worth it and it has like that musky aroma but it's also sweet, so it's not too musky, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes I have no idea what I'm trying to say. Mmm, it smells so good. Absolutely love it. I just love burning candles all year round, and now that every place, like Bath and Body Works, probably Marshalls, they're all going to have, like, their pumpkin, 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 pumpkin candles, and just their sweet, like, apple cider candles, and I'm just so excited. And... Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to film something when I get back into the groove of things and just really try and focus on this because it's fun. Like, Diana and I love doing this. It's just our schedules are so hectic with work. Definitely want to get back into the groove of everything. And it's great talking to you guys. We will see you again soon. Hopefully very soon. Did I miss it? But, alright, I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you have any comments, just leave them. Happy to answer them. And we will see you guys soon. Bye! Whoa, it's close. I should, like, zoom out. I don't like that at all. That's zooming in. Not happening. Uh -huh. oh. How's that?
can, alright, just having a no pants party, not wearing any pants. Pretty sure a lot of girls on YouTube do that, they just put a, like a really nice cute top on, as you can see here, this beautiful little floral satin top. I wore this out on a date actually, and the guy was like, it looks like you're wearing lingerie. I was like, first of all, do not be picturing me in lingerie because we're not going on a second date. And it doesn't look like lingerie, it looks pretty. Super pretty. Okay. Hmm. Happy Monday.